Um, we're in the courtyard of the Fitchburg Art Museum, right on Elm Street in Fitchburg, and um, decided to start animating the courtyard here with uh, contemporary New England outdoor sculpture. And this is the first iteration of that program. We've got three sculptures here by George Mossman Greenemeyer. Uh, George, uh, George is one of the most successful public artists in the United States. He has 30 works of art outdoors in American cities from Anchorage, Alaska to Miami, Florida. And he's been doing this for most of his career. He also is a professor emeritus at the Mass College of Art in Boston, where he set up and ran their sculpture program for over 30 years. So he's a real um, New England fixture. Um, he has his home and studio in Marshfield, Massachusetts. And he makes all of this stuff in his backyard, basically, with blacksmith technology. He has a, a forge in his yard, and this is all made hammer and tongs. Unbelievable. Um, and he looks like the village smithy, you know? He's this great big beard. Big guy with a big <laughs> beard. And, um, and so, all the work here is uh, there's a combination of different things going on here. There, uh, there's an industrial aesthetic, um, all this sort of spindly, triangular, and rectangular ironwork. Um, Everything is also raised up off the ground. All the, all the imagery is raised up off the ground. And this is basically, it's, it's like a formula he has to prevent people from vandalizing. And all the good stuff's way up high, so you can't mess with it. And also, all the good stuff moves, and right now it's not windy, so you can't see it spinning around. And you want the rotating elements above people's head and reach so they don't get hurt. The other thing that George customarily does is he works in a folk art style with the little narratives. So everything is completely accessible. This isn't, this isn't obscure contemporary art. This is art for everybody. This work is much more personal for George. Um, this is work about his frustrations and pet peeves. So this piece is called Big Box. And it's about the, uh, it's not only about the, uh, the tendency of big box stores to take over our retail environment, but it's also about um, uh, what's ultimately worshipped in this country, money. The monument to frustration and low achievement. So you see these bureaucrats sitting at their computer terminals at identical desks, and all the text on the tail these are texts that, these are things that George was literally told over the phone as he was calling companies trying to get work done. So, you know, stuff like, we need to get one more signature on your invoice so that we can send you our release form. You know, all this crazy bureaucratic garbage you have to go through just to get through your day. And then, Mary, do you want to talk about? Sure, so we have a third work here <laughs> that we were particularly keen on getting for the space because it's one that has art world references. So we, this is 10 curators chanting in the Cathedral of Vagueness. And you know, in the museum world, in the art world, we strive to really make artwork accessible. We are the, the curators are ultimately the go-betweens and we help interpret an artist's vision for wide audiences. We want everybody to get something out of this artwork because there's something in it for everyone. But there are some in the art world um, who speak a language that can be a little bit highbrow and also can be full of jargon and vague speech patterns and, and words that don't really add up or make sense, that don't really explain anything at all. And so with this, um, the, with this piece, George really sort of takes a stab at that. And he finds it very humorous that these 10 curators would all be standing there talking about the same work of art and not really describing it or saying anything super meaningful. So you have things here like one of my favorite ones is, um, I believe it's, oh, it's probably on the other side, but um, it is the signature of time. Well, of course, that can mean anything, right? In any time to anybody. Um, it is the premonition of another world. It is the harmonics of dislocation. And so these, these are very vague terms 
and, um, and very unspecific. And George, of course, is poking fun at that and the larger um, art world uh, atmosphere that, that generates that kind of speech.